Hi, this is Up All Night in 75, and today I'm bringing you a quick TDM on Nuketown. And the reason it's quick is because this castle playing. Castle took a break from CSGO, came over to Xbox, and paid us a visit. And he played about four or five games, five or six games, I can't remember. It was good fun chatting to him, and it's been a while. He's been uh, friendly hunter killer ranking up and leveling up on CSGO. And he's in a respectable division apparently now. I don't know, I don't know the division structure over there, but he's in one of the higher ones. And he really enjoys the CSGO. Which is surprising because he never really liked Search and Destroy on Call of Duty. And CSGO is pretty much all about Search and Destroy style gameplay. Slightly different with the way the rounds are budgeted and structured with the buying and purchasing weapons, but it is primarily a Search and Destroy game mode. A one life per round game mode and his style on Call of Duty is pretty head-on aggressive he's a little bit on the suicidally aggressive we should say when it comes to the way he plays Call of Duty and when we used to play search in league play it was always his least favorite game mode he much preferred hard point or capture the flag Capture the Flag was probably the worst because of the amount of games that he'd make the entire other team rage quit by getting all his streaks in on a crazy flag run and just run through them all. Obscene. He used to use the Type 25 in league play just for a laugh, just to annoy people. And the amount of people he used to make rage quit because he used to destroy their whole team with the Type 25. It was kind of funny. I do miss playing with Kassa, especially in league play. I mean, when you're playing with someone who drops like nearly 50 kills every hard point game, it does make it a lot easier. And it was always good fun playing with Kassa because he'd either do something incredible or scream with rage because something else happened. It actually frightens me how good he is at this game considering he barely ever plays it and plays PC the majority of the time. Barely picks up an Xbox controller these days, comes on and just annihilates lobby after lobby after lobby. If he played as much as I did on this game, I dread to think what it'd be like, how good it'd actually be. But that's this gameplay coming to an end, and I did say he finished this game off quite quickly. And as you can see, he's just balls out aggressive all the way. And that's all for this video, and thank you very much for watching.